He's Phoebe, and he lives in Perth, making super videos for all his work. His channel is great, he's a good mate with Bella, fell so the hesitate. G'day, beer lovers. It's our old mate again here. VB Ed. Waterside bars and cafes are set to be the biggest losers in a decision to axe Fremantle's Australia Day fireworks. The local council voted to scrap the event, declaring it's insensitive towards Indigenous people. G'day beer lovers. A big shit fight has erupted in my hometown. Yep, it all concerns Australia Day. That's Australia's national day. Now, the date represents the 26th of January, and that's when the first fleet of settlers came to Australia. Okay, now, the Aboriginals living in Australia see Australia Day as like Invasion Day. That was the day when, when thousands and thousands of migrants descended onto their land and just took it. Okay? Now, so getting back to this big shit fight that's brewing in Perth, okay? There is a green controlled council called the City of Fremantle. And they have decided in their wisdom, because it's fun and funky, that they were going to ban Australia Day next year. And they have actually done it, okay? They're promoting an alternative day, which is the 28th of January, which they're going to promote as one day. Now, this is causing, yeah, the extremes in our society to come out. A lot of people see Australia Day as part of Australian culture, but we're talking about white Australian culture or culture from races that have come to Australia that are non-Indigenous, okay? So they celebrate Australia Day as, as that's Australia Day. But there is 2% of the population, which is the local Indigenous people that were here before we came here, the Aboriginals. They feel left out on Australia Day. And I see their point of view. You know, they had their land taken from them. When you think about it, you know, isn't there? There are quite a lot of right-wing Australians that uh, resent Islamic people coming to Australia. They they see it as an invasion of their country and their culture. Yeah, sounds very familiar to the way the Aboriginals feel about the fact that the rest of us just descended on their land 200 years ago. So the Aboriginals see Australia Day as a day of great sadness. Uh, well, from their perspective, their land was taken from them. They were just killed and shot. I remember a story my father told me when I was a kid. And he was telling me that in the olden days, yeah, we, we love using this term in Australia called the olden days. So in the olden days, the first settlers in the, in the various districts would go out shooting, you know. And, you know, these days it's basically wildlife like kangaroos and, and, and rabbits and emus and feral creatures, okay. But back then... Their shooting parties included going out and shooting Aboriginals. Yeah, well, that's what my father told me. Um, the Aboriginals into Tasmania were all wiped out by the settlers. Yeah, okay, so I can see why Australians in this country feel a lot of anger. And there are two separate nations here, which I have found out. There is, you know, the Aboriginals have their own flag, yeah. And they see themselves as a separate nation from Australia, okay? And, uh, you know, we, we have the Australian flag, which is the Union Jack and the Southern Cross, and the Aboriginals are represented by their flags. So I'll put up an image of the Aboriginal flag to show you what their flag represents. It represents the, you know, the, the colours of the desert and the sun, okay? Very beautiful flag. Okay. The people that operate at the extremes are going to use this incident to play each off against the other, okay? They're going to say things and do things that are just basically going to tear us apart. The people that adamantly want to hold on to Australia Day and the, and the people that reckon it should go, that it's got, gone past its use-by date. There's some people out there that love promoting the idea that it's basically us versus them, 
Yeah. And that's what I don't like. So, where do I sit in all this? Well, it's hard for me to say this. I'm, I'm not a green person. I'm more of a right-wing sort of person. But on this instance, I think, yeah, heads up. Maybe we need to do something about changing the date. Maybe what I'm looking at is a compromise where both parties are sort of semi-happy. We've got the Aboriginals happy and we've got the non-Aboriginals happy. And what I suggest is keep the name of the day, Australia Day, but change the date. Maybe make it the 28th of January. So that is what the city of Fremantle is doing. All right. Maybe what they're doing is going to be the start of a big movement, a big change in Australia. Or maybe it's going to fizzle out. Maybe there's going to be so much hatred and hostility directed at the city of Fremantle that they basically get voted out at the next election. And Australia Day just continues. Okay, so I do really think we need to make a compromise here where both people are semi-happy. What do you guys reckon?